In this Thursday video, I'll be going over a quick way to render your Minecraft builds in Blender. This is a cabin I made in a previous video. To convert the Minecraft world to a render, I'm going to use Mindways. Simply go to Open World, find your world, click on the folder that contains your world, and load in the level.dat file. This opens up the entire world on your screen. Now find the section that contains your build by dragging the map with your left mouse button. With your right mouse button, Click and drag a box around the area you want to render. Go to File, Export for Rendering, and save your render in a place you can easily find at a later time. On the large scary menu, select the Make Groups Objects. Then click OK. Now we move on to Blender. Delete the default cube. Then go to File, Import and select Wavefront OBJ. Find and select the object file we created earlier and wait for Blender to import it. To make finding your scene easier, select the camera icon, then click the top right corner of your window you're in. This will open a panel that will allow you to access some settings more easily. Go down to view, then view lock, go down to view, then lock it to camera to view. Now zoom out with your mouse wheel. As we can now no longer see our full scene, find the camera in the layers tab by scrolling down in the top right, selecting the camera, and setting the clip end high enough to see your entire object. Now adjust the camera for your perfect scene. You can also change the camera type to orthographic, then zoom in and out by changing the orthographic scale. You can select different types of previews of your scene in the top right of your window. To make the render process quicker, I'll be showing you some settings you may want to change. Select Render Properties, change the render engine to Cycles, then change the noise threshold of both the sampling and render to 0.5. In performance, check the box for Use special splits and persistent data. Moving to Output Properties, you can select the quality of your image here, such as 4K. Looking at the preview, we can see that our scene is still very dark. To change this, select the light in your layers. Select Sun, 
Then change the strength to something that matches what you are looking for. Play around with the angle of the shadow as well. Though Minecraft water is cool, it's one of the things I like to change. By using an add-on called Blender Kit Online Asset Library, I can search and easily select a different water material, dragging and dropping it to replace the default Minecraft one. Once you are happy with the overall feel, go to Render, Render Image. Depending on the size of your renderer and your computer strength, this may take a bit of time. That's why before rendering in say 4K, do a few test renders. As I saw in my render, the grass had shadows that I didn't like. So to remove them, select the layer of the object you wish to remove the shadows from, go to Object Properties, under Visibility, Ray Visibility, and remove the check mark for shadows. Rendering the image again, and the shadows are gone. Now just to save your image, and hey, well done, you've rendered your own Minecraft build. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Subscribe, and I'll see you next Thursday.